Hey guys, Scott the Jam Reno here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we are actually filming outside here in Northern Virginia. It's, it is an absolutely spectacular day. <laughs> you know, we all love inspirational short stories. You know, those true inspirational stories that we'll never forget, that we tell our friends about, that we repeat over and over again, and that will always stick in our heads. And I'm going to share with you a very personal one. When my, uh, my girls were young, I want to say six, seven, eight years old, I used to coach their soccer team. It was a blast, um, even though I never played soccer, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But um, we actually had a pretty good team to the point where we finished in second place and we went into the playoffs and we got to the championship game one year. And so what was cool about it was a short field. You have the small little nets. And we had this one player in our team whose name was J.J., JJ was one of the coolest people you ever want to meet in your life. She was spunky. She was personable. She has this beautiful smile. She worked really, really hard. Um, but let's just say, how do I say this? She wasn't the greatest of soccer players. So, so JJ only wanted to play goalie. She didn't want, she didn't want to go anywhere else but play net. So um, anyway, we're in this game championship game. Uh, we're winning one nothing. There's literally 30 seconds to go. And the opponent kicks the ball from their end and the ball is rolling and rolling. So let me, I actually have a prop here and it was slowly rolling over to, um, to JJ. And now I, you have to picture this. JJ has these goalie gloves on that go all the way down her elbows. She has knee pads on. She got a shirt that's all the way down to her ankles. She's got her hands up. She's in the right stance, but um, the ball's rolling towards her. Everyone's holding their collective breath and the ball rolls right between JJ's legs to tie the score up. You hear this collective moan from the stands and from the players. You know, we looked over and then JJ got incredibly emotional, started crying and couldn't stop. So uh, regulation was over. We called the team over and JJ could not stop crying because she felt as though she let the entire team down. So the rest of the little girls, the rest of the seven-year-olds basically put their arms together got around JJ and started chanting her name. JJ, JJ, JJ. And you could see the tears starting to go away. And JJ started getting really, really excited about this newfound attention she was getting. Uh, overtime stats. In overtime in this particular league, we did penalty kicks. So basically you get five kicks each side and whoever's got the most goals after wins the championship. So, so, um, we're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And long story short, it's tied four to four. We kick uh, for our fifth and final shot and we make it. So we're now winning five to four. So the girl on the opposite team, if she kicks it and JJ makes the save, we win the championship. So JJ's a net. This other girl's about 12 feet from her and she's winding up to boom this ball into the net. And JJ started getting extremely nervous because this was it. This was the championship game. All of a sudden, all of the girls, all of her teammates start chanting her name again. JJ, JJ, JJ. This time, the parents start joining in. By the way, the parents from both teams started joining in. JJ, JJ, JJ. <laughs> anyway, the girl on the other team, who, by the way, was their best player, Winds up to kick the ball. JJ's ready of it, ready for it. The ball goes wide right. Wasn't even close to the goal. So and the funny part was JJ didn't move a muscle. <laughs> anyway, so our team and the parents go storming in the field. We pick JJ up, put her on our shoulders as if she just won the Olympic gold medal. It was just one of those unbelievable moments. You just can't make this stuff up, right? Anyway, season's over. We win the championship. Everyone's great. About 10 years later, I think JJ had to be about 16, 17 years old. I get a phone call out of the blue from her mother. And basically, her mother said, we, we caught up a little bit. And she said, listen, there's something I needed to tell you. I'm like, what? She says, JJ just made the girls' all-star team in goalie. Not only the girls' high school all-star team, but the all-district high school all-star team. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And she said to me that she will never forget the serenading of her name, JJJJ, 10 years earlier. 
So the reason I bring this up to you as leaders is that we can make an incredible difference in people's lives. And when people are feeling down and they're feeling out and they have a lot of uncertainty, we have a lot of different options about how we handle this. But I believe in being positive. I believe that we collectively doing the right thing can help people get to a place that they never thought they could get through to themselves. And that is where JJ ended up because of her teammates and the way they led her, especially through tough time. So anyway, so I want you to think about this in your everyday. Feel free to share this story. I hope you enjoy it. Um, more to come. But it's, to me, how do I motivate other people? It's through great storytelling like the JJ story. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Thanks. Thanks.